Preston, considerado como uno de los hispanistas de mayor prestigio, empezó a trabajar en 19... Y nos tiene que venir un historiador como Paul Preston a decirnos, oiga, que aquí ha habido mucho más. Es un honor welcome Paul Preston. El señor Paul Preston, un historiador de referencia para el café a la guerra civil española, al franquismo, buen seguidor en aquest cas de Everton, avui vol que guanyi el Barça. Paul Preston, Paul Preston miente casi en cada palabra que dice, eso es verdad. Tinc moltíssimes simpaties al Barça, la esperanza del fútbol fuera de la contaminación de los diners, etc. El autor cuenta las atrocidades y la violencia que se perpetraron en las zonas franquistas y republicanas. Bueno, porque como yo parto de la base de una gran simpatía por el pueblo español, como no voy a centrarme en el dictador que tanto le, les hizo sufrir. Night after night, all over Spain, men are torn from their weeping families, lined up and shot. Es que no es una cuestión de historia, es que es de ahora, de verdad. Pues esta manifestación ya está hablando de arriba. Es la novela de la historia. Hola. Hola, Paul. This is Martin from Sweden. Oh, hi, Martin. Hi. I was at this extraordinary experience where I was telephoned by an entire class of Spanish school children. They were asking very penetrating questions of, you know, why would someone like me devote my life to Spain, questions I don't really, to which I don't really know the answer. Las vergüenzas. Él habla del holocausto español. El holocausto español. Así es como Paul Preston titula El holocausto español no es un libro más sobre la guerra civil. Why did it occur to you in the first place to, to use the word holocaust? First of all, my immediate reaction was that I wanted a word that captured my sense of outrage at what had happened in Spain. They were the victims of an absolutely deliberate prior plan of extermination. Give me a better word. To call it anything else, the Spanish killing, the Spanish massacre, you know, it just didn't capture the sheer scale of it. There's still a culture war going on in Spain about all of this because my book deals with both sides and therefore one of the things I hope it will do is show those who feel most bitter about the past that people on the other side suffered as well. We will go back to the people and the places that are the history of the Spanish Holocaust. Uh, which would those places be? Well, I think, you know, Seville, Badajoz, Granada, Guernica, of course. Lerida, Tarragona was also very badly affected. But there's hardly anywhere that wasn't, of course. <laughs>